What's going on everybody? Today we're going to be doing Loving You Sunday Morning by The Scorpions. This is going to be in standard e tuning. This is a request from a viewer. So go ahead and grab your acoustic or electric, put in standard e tuning, and we'll get started. All right, for this lesson, this is a beginner style lesson, so we're going to walk this real slow and put some rhythms to it and stuff. We're going to be starting with the third finger. We're going to be on fret 9, string 5. From here, we're going to pluck that. For this one, you could do it if you're learning alternate picking. You want to do alternate picking, which is down and up picking by string. If not, I'm just going to just do down just because it's more convenient, and I like doing down for this part. So, third finger, fret 9, string 5. Right here, for the next part, you're going to take your first finger, and you're going to overlap it over two strings, which is going to be string 4 and 3 on the seventh fret. So you got this going on. 977. Seven. And it'll look like this individually. And you want them to ring together. Not like this. See that difference? Once again, alternate picking. If you need to work on it. Now, the pinky is going to come on fret 9, string 3, which is also being held by that first finger. You're just going to take over that note on that one. So it's like this. Then you hit back, you take the pinky off, and it's back to the first finger fret 7 where it's being held already. See that? Now if you're beginning, one thing you can do is just take your whole hand off, put it back on, and try it again. Why? Because you're teaching yourself uh, finger memory. You're teaching yourself how to make these forms of chords and notes happen. Take your hand off. Do it again. See, a lot of people, when you start, they just kind of put their hand there and then try to get the shape and, and hold it while they're playing something. But that's not really how music works. Music works when you're making lots of transitions happen at one time. So, you're going to have to get used to the change anyways. Here we go. Now, if that's enough as well, you can make a repeat. Now, the next part... We start some chord action going on here. From this right here, the transition goes to first finger, fret seven, string four. At the same time, middle finger is gonna be fret eight, string three. So. You're gonna give it two plugs down. Now, if you need to work on that, once again, you'll just work on that transition. You might not even be that fast, but the, the idea is it's a work in progress, you're gonna get better with this every day. Once again, I'm doing a lot of this talking and stuff because this is a beginner style lesson. You wanna understand this stuff is not gonna come overnight. Uh, sometimes, especially if this is probably your first song you're gonna be learning, it's, it's gonna take time. Uh, when I first started, shapes and stuff didn't come automatically and always had to have finger memory kick in day by day. So. What happens here is the first finger will stay where it is, fret 7, string 4. But the ring finger now will come into play, string 3, and on fret 9. So we got one pluck on each together as a chord. And that'll be your first section. And it'll repeat twice. And you could just play along to it like that. Rewind that part of the video and do it. And that is the speed. If you're not ready for that speed, take it as slow as you need to. It's just really working a routine in until you get it proper. So, we got this all together. Whoa, made a mistake. Let's try that again. One more time. Then the drums will kick in, and then now we're going into this little section. And we'll get there. But from here, it's kind of easy. We're going to be doing a, a chord. It's a power chord with the, the octave on top. So, <clears throat> once again, fret 7, first finger. String 4. You're holding kind of like a power chord deal, so from here, one fret, two fret up, one string up. This is fret nine, string three, third finger. Now the pinky is going to come into play here. 
which is one fret up, one string up from the ring finger, which is fret 10, string 2. So we got this, 7, 9, 10. You're going to do this as a chord. Now, if you're doing this, you got to make sure that that first string, the high E, is muted. Normally, this one's pretty easy. What's happening here is you're touching it with the fat part of the pinky finger. You're not pushing down, you're just touching it to mute it. Or the first finger will naturally, right around this area, will mute it out as well. If not, that means you just need to pull your hand down a little bit where it's just touching it and cause it to mute. Or just don't play it at all. So we got this, seven, nine, ten. It's gonna be one strum through on that. Then we got three to come up on the first time around. That's very important to understand. First time around you play this, it happens three times here. What we're doing here is now, once again, fret seven. We're gonna be barring string four, string three on the seventh fret. And the middle finger will be fret eight, string two. All together, once again, muting out that first string. You're gonna do it once again, three strums here the first time around. Okay, so, coming from here, work on your chords. Work on your transitions, take your hand off. That's all you need to do for a while. Then, take the middle finger off and now you're doing seven, seven, seven on string four, three, two. So we got this. And I'm sorry, it's not three strums, it's two strums. One more time. Now, we're going to go into the last section. So before I do, let's put everything together so far. We got this. Whoa! Sorry, we got this instead. Once again. Section two, get ready for the power chord. Three times here the first time around. Bar chord. Now we're gonna be heading into this last section over there. If that's too fast, the only thing you gotta do, guys, is just slow it down or take it at your own pace and just work on those little transitions like I've been doing for you. So, <clears throat> now, this is gonna be an A5 chord, or power chord if you will open A. We're gonna do this uh, with the A string open, which is your fifth is open. And then your first finger is gonna be holding fret two, string four. So, these are the only two notes you need. What I'm doing, and you might not be able to do this yet, is I'm muting the sixth string with my thumb. So I can get that real thick strum in there. Okay, and you don't want to beat the crap out of strings like this. But you want to give them a, a firm strum so you can get that power from it. But the thumb, I'm just muting it on the top. Now, if you can't do that, uh, don't touch the string when you strum through. Just make sure you're on the fifth string for now and the fourth string. Everything else can get muted with that first uh, finger over here. Now, if that sounds complicated and everything, don't worry about it, especially as a beginner. You might be hitting other notes as well. That can get better with time as long as you're consciously thinking of what notes need to be played and muted or what notes need to be played and the other strings not touched at all. You just need to work on your accuracy. So, up until that point, we got, uh, once again, open A, fifth string, second fret, first finger, fret, uh, string four. So together, that's gonna be three strums down, one, two, three. Now, we're going to be coming in with this middle finger, fret three, string five, and I give it a little bend. Now, if you can't give it a bend, that's fine. Just hit it straight, and then we're going to come back to the A5. So we got this. Without the bend. Once again. Or with bend. Sorry, I know I'm hitting another string over here on the bottom somewhere, but, you know, slowing it down kind of 
I kind of change it just a little bit how I would normally play it. Otherwise, it'd be like this. So, anyway, so we got three coming with that bend. And once you bend it, you don't bring it down. You just bring it up. And once you get it to the high note, which is one fret up, soundy. If you're not familiar with bends, let me know. I can make some videos to help you guys out. Then right when you hit that high part of that bend, you let it go as you come back in the A. So, okay, that will always be played the right way, or like that every time you come around to it. Like I said, section two does change. So let me put this all together for you one time through, and then we'll go from there. So we got this. Whoa, sorry, I don't know why I keep starting like that. Here we go. One more time. Section two. Okay. Now, second time around, this is how it'll go. Now we take out the beginning. We start from this section two part. Now this is only played twice. Then twice as well, and then the ending is the same, section three. Okay, and again, it'll continue, it will continue to repeat that way. So that's it. Once again, uh, after you do the beginning, you come into this, dun, 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 dun. you play this three times, twice here. Second time around, twice only, and it'll stay like that. That's what you gotta understand. At the end, I'll put it all together just as a whole, and I'll shut up so you can hear it. But uh, let me see, what else do I wanna cover on this? What else do I wanna put? I think that's pretty much everything. And you wanna go ahead and work them in sections. You can work these parts. Uh, you can just work this last chord to that transition right there. You can just do that. That's that's called linking a piece of a riff together, or that's what I call it at least. So you're just gonna work on linking the parts. So you can work section one, which is this part, to section two. So it'd be like this. Right there, you can work out that, or once again, it's two to three. You can even just work on this getting that hand to snap into place right there, okay? It's important because a lot of people just practice from the beginning to end, like, oh, I'm gonna just continually rinse and recycle and repeat it until I get it right. But you can break these down into smaller parts to make it work to your favor. So, let's go ahead and now put this all together. I'm gonna do this a little slower than the actual song. Reason being is because it's not gonna be too slow. It'll be something to work up into and something to work towards. When you play with the song, you're going to have to push yourself to the right speed. So, this is more of a medium style. Here we go. One, two, three, four. strum the A5 once. Alright, that's the end of this guitar lesson video. I hope you enjoyed it as always. And if you need more help with this song, other songs, or if you feel stuck in your guitar playing, I'm a Skype guitar instructor. You can head on over to my website and read about my Skype guitar instruction there and read some of the testimonials of my guitar students. Thanks for watching this video and I'll see you on the next guitar lesson video.